in Israel. If you're just tuning in, hello there, Dragonfly. I just came in from outside probably around 30 minutes ago. It was cold. I finished cutting the grass. Uh, as much as I wanted to, but it was, my nose was cold, my fingers were cold. It's like 50 some odd degrees, it's not 60 degrees. This is the first fire of the season I've made <sighs> with this stove. Y'all, you might wanna, if, you might wanna get you some, if you got a fireplace or something, y'all, this is serious. You might wanna get you some starter logs. It's stocked up on the starter logs because they do make the world of a difference. Uh, when you want to do a fire and you got some little... Hey, Rosie, honey, what you doing out there? You being a little baby? Come on in. You got to come in. You know better than that. Get in the house. It's too cold for you. Get in. Okay, you go run around like a little baby. Oh, this is this is Rosie's first year. Or is it... Is this your first year? I'm trying to think. Is this first the first year of Rosie with the fire? Maybe the second year. But, yeah, what's going on with Israel? There's supposed to be some rockets or something that happened. Some, a lot of things are heating up. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Mm. Like it's um, out here. It's, it's this temperature right here. And just think, in Arizona... You're, you're, you're at 100 degrees in Arizona. There's like a 40 degree difference in Arizona, you all. That is a big difference is what it is. You're in Michigan and it's cold. It, oh, you need a bonfire tonight, dragonfly honey. No first year. Mm. Hello. You read the setup. You read set up a stint in your living room or basement. Oh yeah, to keep warm, set up a tent. Yeah, you can do that. You are, you wanna trap the heat. You wanna trap your body heat. It's, it's really been a nice day. I've gotta get the rest of the wood up on the porch. I just brought a little bit out of the woodshed. Is what I've done. I did not mow, I did not mow the grass. You all look, this is really neat. Look at all the leaves that fell from the tree over there. I didn't mow any of those, but I, I mowed around the house, and I, I left the blades up higher, y'all. There's something going on in the world. Some are speculating it could be the beginning of the World War III. They did. Um, that looks really neat. It does. Just think it's still got green grass here where we're at. Green grass, green skies. Our little tattered feather. Come on, we can do it. You are what is going on in the world. This should be a sign of something happening. You are should not this feather, but if you're looking around in the world, um, things are escalating. They really are. I found my one jacket, my my she tree. You can't find these. Uh, you can't find these anymore. You know, I've looked for these and looked for these at the Bass Pro and like Cabela, if there's anyone around here, you can't find the, the exact same pattern anymore. They're, they, I got the bib coveralls that go with it. It's chilly, it's chilly. Hello. We got a bluebird feather. Rosie, you are running in and out. What is the wrong with you, Rosie? Go on, you gonna prance across the porch like a wild woman. Like a wild woman, she's a wild thing. Um, Rose, you had all kinds of issues today at work. The tablet shut down 100%. The power came back at 10%. Wow, it sucked your energy out of your battery is what it did, right? Yeah, if y'all just tuning in, something's, um, your cat is acting weird. Yes, enjoy every single little blessing that you got. You think they might sell those at Ace Hardware? What, sell what? This she tree things? I like them because they got the inner pockets. This is my winter attire. 
when the weather gets cold, this is what you're gonna see me in when I go outside and I'll have a pair of shorts on and I will slip on my bib coveralls and um, I'll go outside to even zip, get the bib coveralls, even they will zip, zip down from all the way up here on your leg down there on both sides, zip it down, zip it down right there and then on your legs. It's really cool, whoo, that's right. Uh, Pikes Peak. We got words, wars and floods and earthquakes and hurricanes and a pandemic. That is a lot, you all. Anyone else feel a... P oh, Adam, honey. Does anyone else feel a pit in their stomach? If you've been sitting still and you've been feeling a silence, you could very well have felt a pit in your stomach. Um, yeah. Mm. You might you might really truly want to get some starter logs. It's a lot easier to start a fire if with that stuff. Just break off a little piece of it. That's what I do. Just break off a piece of it and light it. My husband has some lighters or matches, and then you just let that light the wood that's dry. You have been feeling something horrible about to happen. You bought a battery to charge with it to expire with after time. You have your survival jacket loaded with all nine pockets, eight pockets. Yeah, you know, I've got a lot of, I ain't got a lot. I got different types of these things right here. Different sizes that I would pick up at the Goodwill in the summer months. But I've got them stuffed up there in my attic that I made a mess when I made those cubby holes. I got t lots of blankets and lots of cold weather stuff that I never got rid of. Because I thought you might need the cold weather stuff. You have a pain around your belly button, dragonfly, your center of your chakra. Chakra, y'all, what's going on in the Israel? The stuff is popping. If I don't watch out, it's going to pop out on the rug, you all. We got the first fire of the season, and you can, you can hear that fire um, popping. I think it might have some ants in there or some bugs, and it's popping. <laughs> I think, but maybe not. Maybe not. It's popping really good, you all. If you ain't got a fire, you can look at my fire. I had my Amish. I had my Amish friend came over here one time years ago. She sat right there. I said, what you doing? She goes, Gina, we can't look at a fire, because they can't. She goes, but I can come to your house and I can look at your fire. I said, okay, you can look at it. They can't have glass doors. The temperature really dropped like a rock last night, Kent. Ah, oh, yes, you don't got a fire in Florida, and you can dream, though. Yes, you can dream of a fire. It really has a lot of heat off. The thing with this is an old buck stove. It's a 36BW, and I think it's from the 1990-something. The damper assembly up here, the original one buckled. It was bad, and um, I had tried to send off at the Appalachian Stove Company to get me to get me um, another one and they, they, they just couldn't get it out. They just quit, dis they discontinued it. So I made the pattern of what was in there and I took it to my local welders in Scottsburg. This is the best damper assembly I've ever had right here. They built it for me based on my specifications. And you know what I should have done while it was still summer before I used my fire? I should have took this exact one and had them make me another damper assembly is what I should have done because these things don't last too long. I'm, I'm sure they made better um, metal. Hello, Jennifer Hill, honey. Um, it's dropped in Texas too. Your storm window almost had frost on it. You, I'm sitting right here in front of the fire and um, I don't want to get popped with it. This stove right here has blower motor on it too. I know they got all the new, um, they got the new stoves, they're the pallet stoves and they have EPA regulations on the new stoves and stuff. See, this is an Appalachian Buck stove, even though it's an older model, it still does its job. You just put the gaskets on it and stuff like that. I've taken this motor, I've taken this 
thing all the way apart and cleaned it. I just need to plug it in and it's got high gear and low gear on it. it this is what we use to heat the house even though we got um, even though we got central heat or whatever, we just use the stove right here. Um, two dollars $2 and um, 92 in California. Good evening in the Netherlands. That's right, you are. What's going on? We got 144 people and 37 thumbs up. You are. This got a nice fire. It really does. Nice heat coming from it. You have to make sure you have extra bricks to the line it. Right like that. So I'll set there. I can set there and look at it. I can. Let me flip this around you while there's something going on in the world. We got some missiles. We got some attacks. You're gonna have to pick up your pears and can them. Can, honey, that's gonna take a while. A lot of that regulation is to keep us, yes, durable and abundant materials, I swear. Um, the pellet stoves are garbage, yeah. Yeah, you gotta get your first aid kits, a flashlight, um, a crooked arrow in Kentucky. Yeah, I'd like to visit you one day, Crooked Arrow in Kentucky. I really would, because you ain't but a hop, skip, and a jump away from me. Yeah, flashlight, whistle, beef jerky, candle knife, fish hook, fish line, purification tablets, twine, duct tape, collapsible container, and some first aid, too. That's right. They're not going to get any better, you all, in this world. It's only going to get worse. Uh, you got some passengers who were very aggressive, Rose, honey. You had to stop early with well, them. They're about losing it. Yeah. Mm. Hello there, Polly Temple, honey. You are in Georgia, Nebraska. You are in Nebraska? Who is it that is in Kentucky? I'm not going to Nebraska. That's a little bit farther away. You're not a hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> oh, you had nightmares last night. I have had um, someone astral traveling in my dream state. The inner, they're, they're talking to me in the 5D. And I'm waking up and I'm thinking, okay, you just said something to me. Let me look at the timestamp. They said something to me last night. I forget what they said. I, I thought, I'm going to look at my phone. That way I remember what you said. And it was at 2.15. And the night before... It happened at 2 o'clock. They said something to me in the 5D world. Let's just call the drum state the 5D world. Your papa has a Kim, he has a um, Cherokee. He taught you to um, look for birch trees. Um, uh, peel them, the bark for the pine needles. It starts, yeah, somebody had a nightmare. You all hope you had, I hope it wasn't too bad. I love you too from the UK. You all, we got stuff going on, we do. This is my first fire of the season. It was cold out there, mowing the grass. It was. Oh, uh, uh, Andy, honey, you have a good night in the UK. That's right. You can do it. Gina, I know I can do it because I am going to do it. Ciao. <laughs> you got to go, go. Oh, you saw hollow bodies. They opened up and you saw they were hollow. That's strange. My left hand is tingling now. No, I'm not going to have no stroke or anything, but this is the um, the hand that I can, like, reach out, and I can... It'd be drawn to the four-leaf clovers. I could I can feel, like, the um, energy with my left hand. It's, start, it's tingling. My fingers do. Yeah. You're, the people, if you have healing hands, your hands are supposed to get really hot and you can heal. Does anybody got the healing hands? When you lay hands on people, your hands get hot. Um, yeah, you are, you are in North Georgia. Okay, Georgia. You're blown away how Apple Brooks came to your rescue. Oh, you're talking about in my dream state? She did. She came through the telephone line. <laughs> you came through on the, the, my telephone, Gina. <laughs> uh, what, 
Rose, honey, that's who I thought. You can do your hands get hot when you heal, Rose, honey. Now I'm getting a little warm. Just a little bit. Get hot when you heal. Mm. Yeah. You all smash the button, Mickey Martin, honey. You got to get it going. Whoo. Yeah. Hey, let's hope. Ha. Golden Arrow. That's who's in Kentucky. Gina, honey, like to visit you one day. You're in Kentucky. That's right. Actually, my mother's side of the family, a lot of hers were um, in Kentucky. But down in the boondocks of Kentucky, but not too far down. Yes, and sometimes you get sick afterward because the energy is leaving your body. Wow. It's interesting. It's perfect. Roses in Ohio. Yeah. Nice fire. Fire, get out the soup. Mickey, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to um I wanted to make some potato soup with some of the potatoes we got out of the garden. I thought this sounds good. A potato soup and some grilled cheese. Um, I went to the GFS, you all. Now listen, if you eat bean soup, I haven't had any in a long time, the dried beans, you ain't got time to make it. If you go to these like, I don't know, this Gordon Food Service or something, they have big cans, the big gallon cans. They had um, navy beans, and then they had red kidney beans, and then they had chili beans, but you know, you can heat up that... Um, Mm. Navy beans is like $13 for a whole gallon. You can make you a whole pot of it in, in a hurry, just like that. Your grandmother was from Kentucky. Yes. Your folks are from the Katie's Cove. You have a book about it. Wow. Yeah. Um, you are just tuning in. There's something going on in the world. There really is. It's like something's escalating, and you got some beautiful Colorado grilled cheese sandwich and mushroom soup and uh you hope to see you talking about this erica honey um we we don't got no much information on it we don't we don't have too much information on the israel it's not um i don't think they like to talk about it here on the youtube um yeah i don't Man, that's really warm. It's make my ear warm too, you all. Oh, you make me want a Reuben sandwich. I used to like them, but there's so much to eat. I haven't had one in probably around eight years. Your grandmother came to California. Oh, wow, on a covered wagon. She was Irish. Maggie Brown. Oh, yeah. Homemade mushroom soup. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Um, someone will meet their doom, trumpet will sound. All of the dead shall rise, trumpets, something in the sky, going where no one dies. Heaven something. It's a long, it's an older song. Coming soon. Oh, it feels, it feels good. It's 90 degrees. Well, you don't want to have a fire in 90 degree weather in California. It's like 50 something degrees out here. I got this fire right here. I got a small wood stove up there in the little she shed. It's a little small one with a little bitty tiny window, but I, I need to reorganize it before that stove can be used for the colder months. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about the war on Israel, a lot of updates that we need to pray about them. Yeah, I'm not at my big computer to pull up anything, you all. We can probably surely look at it tonight. You love to live in Ireland. You're thawing out a corned beef. Mmm, corned beef and make cabbage in a couple of days. I'm going to like to bake the corned beef and fry the cabbage. It would taste good. Mmm. You believe they made it cold here, Rose? It does not feel natural. Well, it didn't feel too natural. It really didn't. It's it's kind of a little unusual, but it looks really nice out. It looks nice. Oh, see now this is a barometer. This is this is it's it's up here. See this? 
look how it's up here now. Although I can't read it that well, but I know it doesn't normally go up like that. And the humidity is kind of low. And this right here. You're in the mountains, Golden Arrow Bridge State Park in the Red River Gorge. Oh, I've been to the Red River Gorge. Um, you used to stay in the upper um, Lisburn area. Cool and windy. See, it's a little windy here. It's a tad bit. Mm. Those, ro those clouds look really pretty. The Gina! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I think I push the button and I don't push it. <laughs> then my face gets up there. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no. You see this look look this is not even wow, look how that looks with the blue and the white in the sky. It really does. <laughs> uh that looks kind of pretty right there, you all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what is in my pocket ah! a stink bug got in my pocket what is in my pocket <laughs> there was a stink bug it must have got in my pocket while i was mowing grass in these in these um khaki pants <laughs> i don't want to look at myself up close i don't <laughs> <laughs> if I was younger, I would have been really embarrassed and think, oh, wow, you did it now. You did it now, Gina. That is okay, you all. It, it's quite all right. I got to wash my hands. That stink bugs, the stink bugs taste, uh, taste. I don't, I don't taste them, but the stink bugs smell like um, cilantro. Look, it came in the mail today. The Ethiopian Bible. Here's you a proverb, you all. Let's get you a proverb right there. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Well, they can say submit to him and he will make your path straight. Let's go to the other side, you all. Uh, good sense wins favor, but the way of the treacherous is their ruin. I don't know what that wording is. I, I couldn't even tell you what it used to say. Yeah. Hey, they do. The stink bugs smell like cilantro is what they smell like. Um, mm, do you have spotted lantern flies over there? Well, we have ladybugs. Ladybugs. We have um, lightning bugs. Is it, is it lightning bugs? But they're not out right now. Yeah. You are in Limerick and, wow, you are in Greece. Do you have it, you all? We got this. Smash the button. The stink bugs look different and they're elongated. Yeah, they got some battle, battle bond, hardened armor body. When I opened this up today, I forget what I was looking at in here. I truly do. I forgot. Um, this is supposed to be the most, um, the complete ap apocrypha Bible. Uh, it is, it's got all these things. It's got the Jubilees in them, you all. Estratus, these are the books that are missing from the Bible. You can see them right here. Judith, edition of Esther. Oh, I'd like to read that one. The Book of Wisdom, that uh, sounds like Proverbs, but yeah, Sirach. Um, Baruch, Epistles. Look at all those jubilees. I didn't even know they had the jubilees, but they got them. I see more of the watchers. The descent of the 200 angels, the giant born, the forbidden teachings, the holy angels. Arg. You've got it. Shalom. The tree of life, the land of Israel, Gethsemane, Arabia. Um. 
This is really interesting. It's got a lot of books. I didn't know it. But I, I wanted to get this book. I've been wanting to get it for a long time. So we got it. The Zodiac and the Stellular Year. Y'all, we're talking about Israel. Gina, it doesn't look like you're talking about Israel. It looks like you're showing something. Well, I'm showing the inside, the, um, I forget what it's called, of the um, Ethiopian Bible. The Ethiopian, hello. Oh, the Apocrypha, the first book. So I was um, going through here, and I was flipping through it. And um, I had, um, I don't know what I did. When I flipped to something, it said that Iran invades Israel. And that's the Gog and Magog. And I, I, I seen it this morning, and I thought, where did I see it? Because I can't remember where I saw it now, where they invaded it, um, Israel. In here, I just don't know. No idea where it happened. <sighs> yeah, the Ethiopian Bible. It's got some more stuff in it, you all. You just tuning in. Um, Isaiah forty nine. The missing books between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Life is a wonderful thing. The book of Esther. I love the book of Esther. I really, Queen Esther. It's great. I love it. And the book of Ruth. The story of Ruth. Mm. So you other, something was going on um, with um, Israel today. Never did wash my hands yet. I might. This is nice and warm right here. Something was omitted. Your Methodist and your minister taught up taught you this. The Yom Kippur was last week. Shaking your head off. Um, Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur was next. Shaking my head. Uh, Deuteronomy. It's is it code? It's it's around fifty six degrees here. It's it was really cold out there mowing the grass with just the shirt on, the wind was blowing and it was cold. So this is the first fire of the season. It, it was 62 in the house, now the temperature has went up to 69. Yeah. Mmm. I've been mowing and ranking too, Tammy, honey. Well, that's what you gotta do. He approved six, what? He approved six billion dollars to Iran, okay. Okay. The fire, it feels nice. It does. You're going to have it. Um, it's nice to sit in the chair at night or in the daytime and just relax if one likes to do it, if one can do it. Hello there, Adana. Love you too. Mm. Yeah, it's, 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 it's slightly warm. So something is happening in the world. It is. Mm, the temperature is slowly dropping, is what it's doing. Slowly. Rosie, honey, I know you're out here. You're bound to be out here with these animals. Somewhere. She's probably under the porch. You had to put your air conditioning on. Yeah. Ryan, honey, just by putting the, um, the scriptures on there, no one knows what that scripture says when you put the scriptures on there like that. They don't. I guess they could go back in the live stream and pause and look at every single scripture. Perhaps they could. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Awakened One. It's a lot of work. It is. Rosie is frisky, risky, is what Rosie's doing. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to read that on here right now, Ryan, honey. I, I don't do that. When scriptures are put one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other, I, I, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not. Will I go back and read every single scripture? Probably not. 
um, other people if they want to go through and read them. After the live stream, they can read the scriptures that you have written on there for references. Yeah. Um, oh, you like the little rosy baby? Because she is. She's really, I mean, she's really good. That's right. Um, Rainbow turtle. Yes. Ryan, honey, you need to be respectful. That's right. Precept. Three precepts so we can get understanding. Yeah. Um, it you, you caused me to lose my train of thought when I, I see the comments going up like that. Back to 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 back. Yeah. Okay. He, he's, I've, um, Ryan's in timeout. He's to back 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 to back. That's very distracting. It is, you all. It doesn't matter if you're putting scripture or things on there. It's kind of like trolling. It is. And that's right. You've been having a feral cat lately. Yeah, so something is... Rosie's outside, Crooked Arrow. As Rosie's out running around, she's probably looking for her friend, is where she's at. Yeah. Um, yes, he's, uh, he, he went in time out for 30 minutes because that is kind of like that. And I don't have nothing wrong with scripture. I don't have nothing wrong with whatever reading. No, don't do that. Every other comment like that. Perhaps that was the reason to get off track. That's not the way to get your message out. It truly isn't. Y'all, you got a message to get out. There is a, a right way and a wrong way. There truly is. And you got to exercise discipline. You got to do it with L-O-V-E. You do. Um, that's right. You wonder if Israel will, oh my, nuke Damascus. Well, that would be like the scripture. Damascus is in ruins, right? That's what it, um, uh, I thought Damascus, I thought the word retaliation was reticuli, reticuli, like retil, retilian, reticuli is what I thought. Um, Iran's money to begin with. Oh, mm. So you all, there is something going on over there. There's something probably going to continue to go on over there. It will probably um, accelerate. Yeah. Your cat has been clingy today. You all, anybody else's cat has been clingy? Uh, who was it, Adam? Was it you who said, does anybody else have a pit in their stomach? Because sometimes when you feel a pit in your stomach, you it's, it's like impending evil or something that's near, like a doom or something, when you have a pit in your stomach. That something is not um, happening. A better hello. Yeah. <sighs> Baked potatoes and sweet potato outside on the grill sounds really good, Kevin. It does. The airplanes and choppers, they're in Bama and Alabama. Yeah. You hate the doom. That's right. You feel it, Rose? Yeah. You all, if, if you got to get some supplies, you might want to get some. You might. I think everything's all set up to. You already did the emergency alerts, remember? They did them. Um, that's right. Um, a, B, whose side are you on? What What are you talking about? Whose side are you on? The photos of the poor civilians are horrible. Babylon needs to fall before it. Yeah, I haven't looked at any news. I rarely ever look at any news whatsoever. I might see a headline and that's it. A headline and maybe one or two sentences. I'm not one to like jump into the news because I know I got to keep my space cleared out. Got to remain balanced on the inside. Yeah. A big false flag coming. Yeah, I, I do. I can't have like a single tracked mind. I can't um, focus on a one single subject because then I'm 
Yeah, I'm, I'm all over the place, all over the place. Uh, it's, this is the real world, you all. We got to be able to connect on many different levels, not just one level is a, a good thing. Yeah, I got to have some water. Yes. Make sure you have water. You sent something on a telegram. Um, I really get on that, too. The things were off this morning. False flags. You keep an eye on the enemy, but not too close. Um, terrible to not. Um, A.B., honey, it's not terrible to not read the news. It isn't. Uh, what I mainly focus on is L-O-V-E. Get you some love today on the inside. I, I am really, truly relationship-oriented. When you see videos like this, it's literally on a relationship level. You will rarely see me cover the news. It will be other subjects. Sometimes I will, but now I'm not going to be solely focused on one thing, and um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, not to me. We all have things that we like to focus on, and it's okay. I don't mind if you focus on it. I don't. I truly don't. Yeah, we got it. We got it going. Frank, honey, did you come on in here from South Louisiana? Because we got it going on. This is the first fire of the season. Y'all might want to get you all some fire starter. If you have a fireplace or something, uh, get you some of this. Because it does help you um, start your fire better than like paper bags or paper wadded up paper. Because that ain't going to last long at all. Of course, and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Your mushroom soup is done. Mmm. Yeah. We are doing it, Rainbow Turtle. We can do it, right? We are doing it. That's right. Yeah, this is if you want to interact with somebody, you can come on here on a personal level. You can. That's right. Oh, it feels nice. Hello from Dutchland. I went over to, um, when I was in Berlin, Germany, I think we went through the Netherlands. Did we go through the Netherlands? We went to Legoland. It was really neat in Legoland, but the, my daughter was really small at that time, and my son was just born, and so we went to Legoland, wherever that's at. Um, oh. Yes, Lisa, honey, thank you. Oh, the fire feels nice on my back. I don't don't ask me to lay in a hot tub because I'm not going to do it unless I've been working all day for days on end and my backs are sore, my body's sore, and I just want to rest. Um, Central Pennsylvania. Did you see or hear about um, the string of lights over the Missouri? It looked like a string of stars. They say it was Starlink. I, I don't buy all this Starlink stuff. I really don't. I'm sure it's up there, but everything can't always be Starlink. It can't. Uh, pray for Palestine. Truly, it is the innocent people. It's always the innocent people that get caught in the crosshairs. That's the problem right there. Gina, do you... Oh, oh my gosh. I heard somebody walking on the porch, and I thought, who is it? It was my daughter. No, I don't. I don't like war because it's... Lives get destroyed. They get destroyed. Sometimes war is necessary. It is. I don't have to like it. I don't. Um, I wish we lived in a world full of peace. I, I truly do. I wish there was no need for wars. There shouldn't ever have to be, but there is. But we live in this world, and we've always had wars. There's a time for war and a time for peace. That's what it says. Uh, it's all right. Yeah. Because who wants to be pitted against your friends? Say you got friends in another country, and you're, they're really good friends, and you like them. But then they declare that country, they classify everybody in that country as an enemy. When you know they're not all an enemy, they're not, especially if you got friends. Something like that, you all. Oh, 1992. Yes. We can survive, you all. You are in the Caribbean. That's kind of near where the Cancun is. I enjoyed my time in the Cancun. I did. I went to a resort for my niece's wedding. It was all you could eat and stuff and the first time ever in my whole entire life. They had this swimming pool and they served drinks. I had a pina colada. 
I loved it. I had around three a day. I thought, wow, this is so good. And it didn't make me drunk or anything like that. I don't drink. But it was so refreshing. I thought, wow, I love a pina coladas. I savored it. The first time ever in my life I had one. You have it. Yeah. You're going to go to Florida. That's right. It's The news is depressing. It, it is depressing. Well, you all, I did. I love that pina colada. It was so hot. That's where, um, oh, uh, that's when the sun had a great big halo around it, the big old black circle around it. Mm, the Virgin Islands. I had a pen pal from the Virgin Islands when I was in elementary school. I only got to two letters from her. That was it. 100 degrees in Belize. Yeah, you are. So you have your AC going in South Florida. Um, they do make a lot of money. The war machine gets a lot of money during that time. So you are. There's something happening uh, in Israel. And um, there was some things that went off. There are things that happened. Now the people were pitted against one another. It's really the big players. It looks like a jiggly puff up there. It really does look like a perfect round ball. Look at that. You remind me of a jiggly puff. Looks so smooth. I do happen to believe that in these clouds, look how big that one is. And then look at this. In these clouds are great big round beans. Because I've seen them before. They're big and round. There's big ones and there's small ones. Um... Yeah, like ships in the night, you keep passing me by. Keep um, Like ships in the night, you keep passing me by. Now I'm wasting time trying to see who's right. But if we all go sailing through the sea, it's just you and me trying to realize. Ships in the night, the song, Ships in the Night. I think it's um, a... a um, Christian song, I don't know. Ships in the night, you keep passing me by. You are sober. You are, we got it. You're loving your skim milk, you are. If you, you, you might want to get you some powdered milk. If you could not get some regular milk, you drink milk, you might get powdered milk. It's not a lovely taste. It's not at all. Um, the Iraqi dinar in 92. Um, hmm, yeah. So um, we're at 42.42, and um, he's a warrior of God, you all. So yeah, I am going to go. There's something happening in the world. People can feel it. They can. They can feel it in their gut. Something's off. And um, it's like a 40-degree difference where I'm at than it is in Arizona. Oh, Selling by Christopher Cross. Okay, Pixie Honey. Yeah, I like that. I like that song. I do. It's a pretty good song. I just couldn't, I haven't heard it in a long, long time. You feel it big time, you all. You've been watching the stock market and you understand you don't have any. You are what you're going to do when you got your 401ks and the stock market crash. You lose all that money. <laughs> Be like the Enron scandal that occurred. When we were in Hawaii, it was back in 2001, 2, 3, or 4. I can't remember what the exact time set, but it was a scandal. The people lost all their retirement, just vanished millions of dollars, gone. It is a nice song. Uh, the general population out. Gina, you should see the general population out. Act them as scared uh, and tired of looking. Yeah, that's right. Where do we keep our money, Gina? I have no idea. Some people have cash on hand, which is recommended. Have a little cash on hand. Some people have money in the bank. Some people have their credit cards. Some people have um, tangible items, too. Yeah. But wealth is worthless in the day of wrath. It is. Sometimes, you know, your money ain't going to be able to buy nothing. Really. If you don't got the supplies and stuff when it comes right down to it and your money becomes worth it because you have hyperinflation, then that money is like, poof, it sprouted wings and flew away. You've been saving all your coin money for years. That's right. Store up your treasures in heaven where moths and rust does not corrupt. That's right. 
um, Oktoberfest. Oh, yes, I remember the Oktoberfest in Germany. They had they drink the beer all the time. Big things of beer. That's right. Yeah, I am going to go, you all. So um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your um, evening. It ain't evening yet but it's late afternoon and I hope to see you all later. Love you.